module one, session two. Session two will cover learning outcome 2.1.2, factorize third degree polynomials. Learning outcome 2.1.2, factorize third degree polynomials. Students will need to know how to do either long division or synthetic division in order to factorize third degree polynomials. We use long division or synthetic division for polynomials to divide a third degree polynomial by a linear expression. Students need to know at least one of these methods. Let's run through these methods now. Long division of polynomials. Long division can be rather cumbersome, but students need to understand how it works. Let's work through an example. Find the quotient if the polynomial x cubed plus 2x squared plus 3x minus 6 is divided by x minus 1. Remember, our polynomial should be arranged in descending powers, which it is already. Step 1. Divide x into x cubed. Write x squared above x cubed. Step 2. Multiply x minus 1 by x squared and write the answer below x cubed plus 2x squared. Step 3. Subtract the answer x cubed minus x squared from the dividend. This is 3x squared. Step 4. Lower the term 3x to the level of the answer in step 3. Step 5. Divide x into 3x squared. This is 3x. Step 6. Write positive 3x in the quotient above positive 2x squared. Step 7. Multiply x minus 1 by 3x and write the answer below 3x squared plus 3x. Step 8. Subtract 3x squared minus 3x from 3x squared plus 3x. This is 6x. Step 9. Lower the term negative 6 to the level of the answer in step 8. Step 10. Divide x into 6x. This is positive 6. Step 11. Write positive 6 in the quotient above positive 3x. Step 12. Multiply x minus 1 by 6 and write the answer below 6x minus 6. The remainder is 0. So our quotient is x squared plus 3x plus 6. Synthetic division is a shortcut alternative to long division. Using it can really speed up the process of factorizing cubic polynomials, so it can be useful for students to know how to do it. Remember, it only works for division by linear polynomials. Let's work through the method with an example. Use synthetic division to divide f of x equals 2x cubed plus 9x squared minus 2x plus 7 by x plus 2. Write the answer in the form f of x equals q of x times g of x plus r of x. You may have seen different ways of laying the problem out, but the steps are always the same. In synthetic division, you first set the divisor to 0 and solve for x. This is the number you put into the division box on the left. Then look at the dividend. Check that it is written in descending order of the powers of x. Write down the coefficients as shown here. Then write the leading coefficient, 2, into the line below. Multiply the number that was brought down by the number in the division box and write the answer in the next column. 2 multiplied by negative 2 is negative 4. Add the numbers in the second column and write the answer below the line. 9 plus negative 4 is 5. Multiply this result by the number in the division box and write the answer in the next column. 5 multiplied by negative 2 is negative 10. Negative 2 plus negative 10 is negative 12. Continue in this way to complete the calculation. Now, write the final answer. The numbers in the bottom row are the coefficients. As you have divided a cubic polynomial by a linear polynomial, you now have a quadratic polynomial. So the quotient is 2x squared plus 5x minus 12. The last number, 31, is the remainder. Remember, when you divide by a linear divisor, the remainder is always a constant. Now, let's write the solution in the correct form. 2x cubed plus 9x squared minus 2x plus 7 equals, open brackets, 2x squared plus 5x minus 12, close brackets, open brackets, x plus 2, close brackets, plus 31.
once students are familiar with either synthetic division or long division or both, we are ready to move on to the factorizing of third degree polynomials. Students already know how to factorize quadratic and linear expressions from previous levels. Here are the steps you need to factorize a polynomial using the factor theorem. Step 1. For the first factor, use the factor theorem and find the factor that will make f of x equal to 0. It can be useful to draw a table of selected x values and choose one where f of x is equal to 0 as the first factor. The first step is a trial and error method. Most calculators have a table function that can make this step much quicker and easier for students. Step 2. Using long division or synthetic division, divide the third degree polynomial by the factor that you found in step 1. Step 3. Factorize the quotient completely. If the quotient is a trinomial, such as a quadratic expression, factorize it further. Let's work on an example of factorizing third degree polynomials in pairs. Use the factor and remainder theorem to factorize f of x equals 3x cubed minus 2x squared minus 5x plus 4. Discuss the approach or method you would use in pairs and then work through the problem using this method. Here is the solution to our activity. Use the remainder and factor theorems to factorize this expression. We all can see that this is a cubic function. And in order to factorize this expression, it is very important that we need to start off by, by means of trial and error, find a possible value for x in order to get the first factor. So normally we decide by assumptions. We assume values of x between negative 2 and 2. And then we're going to substitute because now we're going to guess which one of these ones will fit in. So in other words, I'm going to start off by if x is negative 2. And that will be 3, negative 2, cubed, minus 2, negative 2, squared, minus 5, negative 2, plus 4. And if you punch into your calculator, you will get the value of negative 18. Right? So negative 2 is out because you need a 0 here. Right? Let's say negative 1, and that is the same thing, 3, negative 1, cube, minus 2, negative 1, squared, minus 5, negative 1, plus 4, and if you punch into your calculator, you'll get a value of 4. Even naught, you will also get 4, because you can clearly see naught, 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 it's 4, so let's move to 1. 1 is equal to 3. 1 cube minus 2. 1 squared minus 5. 1 plus 4. And you can clearly see here uh, you get a value of 0. Because it's 3 plus 4, it's 7, and a minus 7 gives you 0. Therefore, that means that x is equal to 1. But we don't want the values of x. We want the factors. If x is equal to 1, it implies that x, you move it over, minus 1 is equal to 0. Therefore, x minus 1 is, very important your concluding statement, a factor of that function of x. So now we have the first one. We got the first value for x and we have the first 
factor of x. Now the next stage, after you have one factor, one x value, then by means of long division or synthetic division, you can now calculate the other factors. So let's use long division. Because we're going to take that factor and we're going to divide it into that in order to get the other factors. Right. So, you know, that's a symbol for long division. You're going to have 3x cubed minus 2x squared minus 5x plus 4 and we will divide x minus 1 in there. Now normally the people are getting cold feet when they see long division. What is long division? People divide, multiply, subtract, bring down and you repeat the cycle. So we start with divide. 3x cubed divide by x is equal to 3x squared. Right. Multiply. 3x squared times x, that is 3x cubed. Minus 1 times 3x squared gives you minus 3x squared. Right. Remember? Divide, multiply, subtract. That will cancel out. You change there, you will have 1x squared, because when you subtract, you change the bottom side. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, minus 5x. Cycle starts again. Divide, x squared, divide by x, that gives you a plus x. Multiply, x times x is x squared, and then a minus 1x. Subtract, you change that and you have minus 4x. Bring down plus 4. Cycle again, divide minus 4. Multiply it, minus 4x plus 4. Subtract, obviously, you will see it cancels out. So in other words, remember long division, divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, and you repeat it until you have nothing else. Let's move now to the factors. In other words, that 3x squared, sorry, 3x cubed, minus 2x squared, minus 5x, plus 4. This is equal to, the first factor was x minus 1, x minus 1. And after long division, you have 3x squared plus x minus 4. Now, we need to factorize this quadratic trinomial. This is x minus 1. And if you factorize this quadratic trinomial, you will get another x minus 1 and obviously a 3x plus 4. And those are the three factors for that given function. Now let's do this same long division by using synthetic division. This is an alternative people. Please don't do both in the exam because you don't get extra marks. It's just an alternative because so that you can see by both methods you will get exactly the same answer. Use synthetic division. Much shorter, but you will get exactly the same factors. What do you do with synthetic? You first, what was the value of x? You write that down. x was equal to 1. So can you see immediately the difference? Yeah, you divide by the factor. Here you're going to make use of the value. Then your very first step is you draw a line there 
and then you write down the coefficient of x cubed, which is 3. Then it must follow in descending order. There is a x squared. You leave a space, minus 2. Then there is a x. You leave a space, minus 5. Then your constant is 4. So it's 3x cubed minus 2x squared minus 5x plus 4. You draw a line there. Then you start by writing down a 0 under 3. Now synthetic is very nice because what happened? Add down, multiplied, add down, multiplied, add down, multiplied, add down. So let's start. Add down 3 plus 0, it's 3. Multiplied 3 times 1 is equal to 3. Add down 3 minus 2 is 1. Multiply 3 times, sorry, 1 times 1 is equal to 1. Add down minus 4. Minus 4, 1, that gives you minus 4. Add down, my 4 and a minus 4 gives you 0. That 0 there indicates that there's no remainder. Therefore, exactly the same steps as above repeats itself. Obviously, 3x cubed minus 2x squared minus 5 x plus 4 is equal to x minus 1, and this is 3x squared. Can you see there? Plus 1x. Can you see there? Minus 4, which is exactly the same as a buff, and it will give you exactly the same factors. So this synthetic division was just an alternate method for long division. This brings us to the end of Subject Outcome 2.1, Factor and Remainder Theorem. Thank you for participating in this module.